All right, so we're back to working on the 99 Honda Civic. Um, Backstory on this, I've been placing a bunch of parts from the previous owner um, who did a lot of shardy work on it. Um, and now I'm at the point where I replaced the timing belt and water pump due to them leaking. And I'm not sure if it made the hose weak, but as you can see, we had a hose bust. And this did overheat a little bit. Um, so today, we're going to throw on a couple parts. We're going to throw on a Gates upper radiator hose, a Honda thermostat with gasket, and then a radiator cap. So, got all these parts on Amazon for about, I don't know, 40 bucks, 45 bucks total. Um, the radiator cap and then the hose are the cheapest parts. Um, and to replace the thermostat, it's really easy. We're going to remove the intake just so we have some room. But it's right here. And there's actually just 10 or uh, two 10 millimeter bolts and the tools for this is like I said just a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet and extension and then if you got to remove this a flat tip so we're gonna go ahead and start removing this stuff we'll probably leave the hose attached if it's possible because usually when these are a little bit older um, they're really hard to get off and you don't want to mess with it so as I said before there is your first 10 millimeter bolt um, if you need more room, you can remove this right here. This is the ground wire. It's another 10 millimeter, but the second one is on top and pretty easy to get to. All right, so once you have your two bolts out, you can just pull this back and clean it up a little bit. And there goes your thermostat. So we're gonna install the new gasket on the new thermostat and we're gonna put it in the exact same way. All right, so when you install the new gasket, make sure you put it on right. Um, this one has a little hole right here. So the groove goes right here. And then on the other side, you see the, these two grooves. And the reason for those two grooves is if you look at the thermostat housing, it actually sits it in there. So you can place the thermostat in. And when you put it in, make sure you put it in the right way. Uh, people have put them in backwards. So this side goes in. All right, so we have it back installed. We're gonna button up our clips, make sure everything's good to go. And when you tighten these two bolts, you don't wanna over tighten them because it is aluminum, um, so you will strip them. So just put them tight. You don't need any uh, gasket maker, none of that crap, um, as the seal does what it's supposed to do if you, if you put it in right. Um, I didn't show, obviously, the radiator hose because you don't need to see two uh, clamps come off and a hose get put on. And I'm about to put the new Raider cap on after I fill it up with coolant. But other than that, that is how you replace your thermostat in your Civic. And this works for 88 all the way through 2000, possibly more. But those are the ones I'm very familiar with. So hope this helps. If you have any questions, drop it below. Um, in the very beginning, there's pictures um, or video of the part number for the Honda. Uh, for the Honda thermostat, I do recommend getting a Honda thermostat. The one that came out of here was an auto parts store janky one um, And it was no good. It just looked like it was stuck open probably um, but Other than that, um, we're gonna start it up fill it up with coolant then start it up and then we'll let it run for about 10 minutes Let it bleed all the coolant out and we'll see if everything's good to go now